Hey guys, Lastcast here, and welcome to What the Vlog for the 13th of December 2011. Hell yeah. Okay, in this vlog, guys, I want to talk a bit about this new YouTube layout. What the hell is going on? <laughs> well, it's interesting what they've managed to do. However, I've noticed that they're screwing up a lot of sub boxes when you sort of log into YouTube and you're looking for videos you want to see, such as this one. They tend to get bombarded down the list pretty quickly as comments and likes and all that kind of thing, junk which they removed ages ago. Is appearing. Also, it's not appearing as a sort of column across as well if you do multiple uploads, which is a bit of an issue. Oh, I don't know why they've done it that way. Anyway, um, I've kind of found a vague solution to this, which I'm going to be implementing, which is more sort of scheduled programming for this channel and my videos on TGM Wow. So, what I'm going to let you know, guys, and I have put this on my YouTube channel now, I'm looking to put it in a bit more of a friendly format, really, is that on Mondays, what I will be doing is that on Mondays we'll be League of Legends or Swartor because I am going to be playing Swartor, I've made the decision now pretty much so Monday will be LOL or Swartor Tuesday is going to be What The Vlog because it's a good day to do it on I haven't got much to do on Tuesday so that's awesome Wednesday will be leveling through PvP up on TTM WoW Thursday is going to be a WoW PvE video up on TTM WoW and Friday is going to be a WoW video for this channel as that's something a few of you want to see on here again which is absolutely fine and I have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever Okay, second topic's cover, and this is going back to something I looked at in the last video, is SWOTOR versus WoW. Yeah, I've got quite a lot to say on this. Um, okay, where to begin? Well, last time I made an observation that SWOTOR at the minute is looking like a single player game in a multiplayer world. Now, what I meant by that, guys, a couple of you were a bit offended by what I was saying, though, which um, is fine, and you're entitled to your opinion as well. And what I meant there exactly is that Bioware is known for doing really huge story-driven games. We can go back 10 years, more than 10 years, to games like Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights. And they have been such story-driven games, and they are awesome, and they're really, really good, because they get you really involved in the story and the plot of the game, and you feel really immersed in it. And this was before the times of like really fancy flash graphics, which Swotor has to offer as well. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all. What what I'm concerned about though is are they going to focus more on that than PvP, raiding, dungeons, all that kind of stuff which makes an MMO an MMO, the multiplayer experience. That's my concern about the game at the minute. Now I could be completely wrong on this, I, I could start doing dungeons on Swoto and go wow this is completely different to, wow, see what I did there, oops. But anyway, yes, yeah, so it could be completely different, it could be a different experience, it could be a lot more challenging and the same with PvP, PvP could be a lot more fun then well, I, I may find that, but it's too early to call at the minute. I'm going to have to actually sit down and stop playing the game, and I'll be bringing Swordsville videos. I think I've pretty much decided I'm going to play a Bounty Hunter now, just because there's something really satisfying about setting Jedi on fire. Yeah, I mean, while it's been a great game, it's always going to be a great game. I think that loads of people are going to try Swordsville out. If they like it, they're going to stay on Swordsville for a bit, but I think when Mr. Pandaria comes out, you'll get a few people coming back to WoW, and that's something that always happens with WoW, is they will lose subscribers, but then they'll get them back. Who could honestly say that they will delete all their tunes in WoW? Could, could you imagine going on to WoW now, and deleting all your tunes? Now, I know people have done this in the past, and they've regretted it, because there'll always be something in a patch, something in an expansion, which go, oh, that's awesome, and WoW's a good game, so I'm going to go back to it. So, unfortunately, Rift did try to be too much like WoW. I think the USP of Swotor is going to be the story element, which I've discussed, and it's going to be a really big thing and that's going to get people really immersed in the game like I say though I do have a concern I mean at the minute and wow I'm really not happy with patch 4.3 they could have done so much more we've got a new raid which in my opinion isn't as hard as Firelands loads of guilds have done complete normal progression now fewer starting to do complete hard mode and it's just a bit like well Deathwing's meant to be your main sort of bad guy in the game make the fight difficult yeah I've been watching a few videos of Dragon Soul and it just really doesn't interest me all that much unfortunately however I will raid some of it I'm really curious about Raid Finder testing that out gonna give that give the good old Raid Finder a go see what it's like and I'll produce some content on it level 3 PvP is gonna continue I'm gonna um, be hitting 85 Road to 2200 the new series kicking off with Map Hack and Joe if any of you guys know who those two are um, because that's gonna be my freeze team and we're gonna do get up to 2200 in a PvP season can't give you an ETA on that, unfortunately, because at the minute I'm not entirely sure. Okay, right, guys. So, yeah, I hope that cleared up a bit of what I was saying in my last video. Please don't just get really upset. And I know gamers do get really upset when there's something they're passionate about and they start to 
you know, go rah, 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 all over the internet, and a few people will call me, like, a WoW fanboy, which I'm not, there's things which I really fucking hate in WoW, and I, I'm quite prepared to state those in these vlogs and on forums and things like that, and I'm looking forward to Swartal, I really am, I, I'm going to enjoy it, hopefully, and it might replace WoW, I'm not sure, it's far too early to say, people can say, oh, it's going to kill WoW, because you've no idea, it's a... It's appealing to a different market even, because you could even go as far as to say that because it's a sci-fi MMO as opposed to well being a fantasy MMO, I don't think it's going to kill well. Too early to call, if I'm wrong I will eat my own head, live on this webcam, yeah. Okay right guys, I'm going to go into the Q&A session now as well, got a few questions to answer, got three of them here, and the first one comes in from a fellow TGN director called Phoenix Art. Now guys, he's going to do my channel background for me, I'm going to have a new channel background coming up with it to go in sync with the new YouTube format. Definitely go and check out his channel, he's actually the content manager for TGN MMO as well. I just post a comment on his profile so he knows where you come from, say Lazka sent me or anything like that, that would be awesome. Okay, so this question is, why did you change your desk around? Good question. Um, Nice to see that people are actually that observant <laughs> on these vlogs. Okay, desk has not been changed around. I've actually moved desk. Uh, I've got two desks in here. One of them kind of broke because <laughs> it was a cheap thing from like Argos. So I had to get a new desk. And the reason, well, sorry, not a new desk. The desk was already in here. Right, not thinking straight this morning. Really. Yeah, so this desk was already in here. It was actually my girlfriend's desk, uh, which I'm now utilizing. And one of the main reasons for that, and I'm just going to shift my webcam down to about there, is so that I can use my Goliath. That's a little zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. It's so I can use my Goliath's mouse mat to the full sort of effect. Um, get the nice big scrolling there, which is really awesome using it like that. So that's why I'm using this desk, because I got the new mouse mat um, a little bit ago, and I wanted to have a bit more room to use it and also the other desk broke thanks for the question um, link to his channel will be in the description below and it should be on your screen now somewhere over there-ish okay right second question coming in here we have from Skit I'm sure to pronounce his name because it's Skit Kali 13 hi there I saw your last video about Barry and Hold if you haven't seen that guys I'll put it in the description below I just did a brief guide on Elizabeth the new boss which is really fucking easy uh, how can you keep that much rage all the time? By the way, nice job, love you vids, your voice is excellent. Oh well, thank you very much, thanks for the positive feedback. Okay, how do I keep that much rage up? Um, Fury Warriors is a hard one to DPS as properly, it's... I know some classes now in WoW have got like a 2 button rotation, 3 button rotation. It really is dependent on your hit and expertise cap. You need to get those caps off right away, because whenever you hit something, you generate rage. You're, also, at the start, before any engagement, and you want to macro this up, you want to have your Battle Shout, your Intercept, and your Berserker Rage. And you always want to be popping Berserker Rage whenever it's off cooldown. So that way you're getting the Rage increase, and whenever you're at about 80%, 100% Rage, you want to be hitting Inner Rage and then Heroic Strike Spamming. So I hope that clears that up for you. What I'll do is I'll link the guide which I used, and I think it was on Noxic. I'll link that in the description below for you, so you can check that out. Okay, I hope that answers your question. Okay, next question we've got here comes in from Vision14. Hey, I wanted to know, how do you level through PvP? I mean, you kill players and get XP or what? I didn't find anything about it on the net, so maybe you could help me. Yeah, sure. Um, okay, well, with me and the leveling through PvP stuff, I wanted to try it, and people wanted to see me try it, see if it could be achieved in the game of just going purely through Battlegrounds and all that kind of good stuff. Right. Okay, basically, at level 10 you can start doing battlegrounds, you can't do them before level 10, you have to be level 10 to enter a battleground. So you have to quest up to level 10, you then queue for battlegrounds, whenever you kill a player you get a bit of XP, whenever you cap a player you get a bit of XP, whenever you win a battleground you get a bit of XP, and whenever you lose a battleground you get a little bit of XP I think, not entirely 100% convinced on that one. Um, and that's it, that's all you need to do, there's also a thing called Call to Arms, if you go onto your calendar in WoW and you can select one of the filters for Call to Arms battlegrounds, now, over the weekend, what that means is you get increased XP for doing those battlegrounds, and I think you get increased honor points as well, which is really, really nice. Um, so you can farm those over the weekend. Now, you won't be able to do some of them when you're leveling up, because they won't be available to you, but the higher you level up, the more cool skulls will become available to you, and it's a really good, quick way of leveling up. Bear in mind as well that if you are going to step into battlegrounds at level 10, please ensure that you've got some heirlooms, because everyone has heirlooms at the minute, and they've kind of ruined low-level PvP, because... If you don't have heirlooms, you're just going to get the shit smacked out of you and you're going to die lots and probably go, the fuck? Ah, no, I'm not going to do it anymore. And it can be a bit depressing. I actually tried doing this on a ult I created to see if it could be done and no, you just get absolutely annihilated. 
Anyway, guys, I think I'm pretty much done here for the vlog. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, please like this video and favorite it, guys. It's really, really important to start getting st more stuff out on YouTube. So if you enjoyed it, please do that. Don't forget to share as well. Comment below. Put your questions below as well for next week's vlog. And that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.